All right, previously on Amphibia, Sprig, Anne, and Polly had to battle a giant stick tree monster, insect, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Anne broke Hop Pop's uh, cane. The only way to recreate the cane using the same bullet is going to something called the Doom Tree, which ends up being some living creature, and they end up battling it, and ends up being not so scary once they defeat it. They uh, threw termites at it, and it was this like little green guy. He was making some really weird, uncomfortable noises. And then, you know, Anne learned a lesson to, you know, be, you know, respect your elders, you know? And then in the second part, in the episode within the episode, there was a... Uh, Anne and Sprig had to live together. Had to share. They decided to share a room because you know they, you know, Spran, right? And they're best buds, and it didn't go well. It did not go well. Every little thing annoyed annoyed them about each other. Every little thing they do, you know, Sprig with his little toe crusties, and Anne being super loud with her chewing, and they ended up fighting these like little river water beasts and learning to work together. And the big, you know, message was communication. If you guys were just honest with each other and communicate it you've never been in this mess so very good lesson but yeah this is episode three of amphibia this is hop luck and stakeout so far two episodes in the show has been incredibly entertaining incredibly like very entertaining the characters are incredibly fun and colorful i've been enjoying the world building domino domino she's got fire a cute face I felt huge! <laughs> hmm. I will set her back. No! Please stop doing that. Why? I still uh, don't know how she charges the damn phone. Don't tell me. Crawl under the house and die? Probably. Oh. Pop, Pop is cooking. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I hate all of this. What's the plan this year, Hop Pop? Boys in the competition? Nice. The plan is to win. Win. I'll repeat and myself. I could not survive here. The family who brings the best taste in dish is showered okay. with love and copper coins. Oh. The family with the worst taste in dish spends the night in the shame cage. The shame cage. I like it. Which family ends up there every year. Honestly, if you come in last, you deserve some sort of punishment. I like it. End up in a cage. You've got another thing coming. Can we please get her another shoe? Planter, but maybe I can help. Mm. this baby since I was a polywog. You should throw it away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I found your problem, guys. The cookbook. <laughs> Old things are dumb. Thank you. Oh, that makes sense. It's all so clear now. What would my Old things are dumb. <laughs> Tradition needs <laughs> everything. She was a fierce woman. Something revolutionary. I'm sure there's like gonna be no some sort of message saying before. like, "Hey, res Something you know, like respect the old times." Pizza. pizza. I don't know what it is, nom, nom, but nom, nom, I nom. love it. Pizza is the <laughs> ultimate dish. Precious. You haven't lived until you've shared one with your friends at the mall. Mm. Now, now, hold on. Uh, before we get I was one away, of those people in the mall. And true recipe: swamp mold pot pie. <laughs> Ew, no, look Gaze at the legs. Okay, okay. Pop, pop. No, all we gotta no. do. No, Sprig again. <laughs> all we gotta do is get four ingredients. Sprig's Dough, gonna get it. Cheese, basil, and tomatoes. Are you guys Classic. Ready to make Yo, now I want oh, some pizza. Oh, maybe we should put pineapple on it. Favorite like toppings, let's go. Don't you dare talk about pineapple on my pizza. Ever. And I love you. Okay, let's go get those ingredients. Pizza dreams. She... Pizza dreams. Pizza dreams. Way to go, Anne. Respect. Don't put fruit on your pizza. You want the dough. The boy has to marry my daughter. Oh. Hi. Hello. Oh, she has a voodoo doll. Ain't she adorable? Yeah, she's Don't. precious, bud. No, he wouldn't have to sell Sprig. <laughs> no, that old look is old. Sprig's eternal happiness is a small price to pay for pizza. Agreed. Uh, it's not so bad. Maybe we'll I can't argue. Oh, Jesus. Death in my mind. Okay, go away. It'd be a surprise. That's <laughs> it will be. Oh, no. Congratulations on your new son. Now cough up the dough. Yay. Yay. Oh, pleasure doing business with you. Well, looks like we gotta go. Get away from her, please. See you soon, hubby. <laughs> God, she's horrifying. I love her though. Okay. Look at that guy. Jeez. 
teeth. Jeez. The things they have to do to get these fresh ingredients. I wouldn't be shocked if any of those old recipes are actually pretty good. Just Hot Pop's really bad at cooking, maybe. Oh, Polly's having the time of her life. Fresh from the milk of those cows. Please don't tell me where it comes from. I don't want to know either. Basil. Hmm. Dangerous vegetable section. Oh. It suggests we go for prunes instead. Oh. Can't go wrong with prunes. Come on. And comb the damn leaves and sticks out of your curve. Yo! Hello! I love it! Holy tomato. Holy tomato indeed. Look at these guys. You know, this baby's got some great substitutes. Guys, I think they should, they should, just in the they need to be square. listening to him, it's I feel like. here. You are not going to change the world without taking a few risks. I feel like this is where we this is going. To bold, groundbreaking, oh, walk brave. away. Walk away. There's a big difference between courage and stupidity. <laughs> no, hop up. Hop up. <laughs> Save him now. No, Holly. Ooh, grab him by the tongue. I wonder what it looks like inside. Oh, okay. The ingredients! I see corpses. No! The ingredients! Everything we've worked for! My pizza! It'll be a quick painless death. Why would this be painless? It wouldn't be. I have this lie. Shouldn't have been so stubborn. I just really wanted to share a pizza with you guys. Aww. But you were really trying to help this family out. And that's worth something in my book. I love that. Book? That's it? Is there anything in the old ways that could help us right now? Yay! See, sometimes well, the old ways are good, know. even though they're mostly dumb. Just that the throat of this giant tomato plant is absolutely delicious eating raw. Oh! We eating! Oh my god, this poor thing. They're gonna just eat it. <laughs> the look on their faces. <laughs> know your place, plants. <laughs> yes, Polly. Know, know your, your damn place. Yep. Yep. Still up here. <laughs> still up here. Oh, the legs are not doing it for me. Okay, a little fresh ingredient, tomato. Right on top. Oh, look who it is. I've been watching Barry on HBO. This this guy's voice's head is so good on that show. What have we here? The planters. What have you cooked up this? Be nice. Tomato. Awfully dangerous. Is it a winner? <laughs> Literally, I'm a drummer. I do declare, this is the best dish the Planter family has ever brought to a party. But it's probably still last. What? Still the worst. Watch. Win? No. 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 Yeah. No. No. Oh, it's better than usual, but it's still terrible. Yeah. Last place. I was gonna usual. say the best they've done, but it's probably still the worst. Oh, they burn it. They tried. Any chance I could squeeze in there? How about it, Carl? What? The more the merrier. <laughs> more the <laughs> merrier. Get in here, you crazy kid. <laughs> I love that. I want to get in the shame cage with y'all. Aw. You know, honestly, this isn't so bad. Oh, no. no. They get stuff thrown at them. I forgot to mention the shame nuggets. Oh. <laughs> Regretting it now, huh, Anne? Hey, that's my son-in-law. Mm. Is that the best you got? <laughs> Don't egg them on, Polly. Beautiful. Oh. Son of a slug. <laughs> Stake out. <laughs> oh, I love these characters already. The, the humor is up, is up my alley. Look, dude. All I'm saying is that where I'm from, you could get arrested for having a couch this firm. Back in my day, we didn't have furniture. <laughs> we the we sat on rock. Okay, but if I get butt blisters, I'm blaming you. Butt blisters. Back in my day, we called those character. Oh. Uh, Character uh, and the flagstone. Oh, uh, he did say mind it. Back in my day, kids spent less time complaining. Oh, he's and more doing this bull crap. Back in my day. Oh, this house is like family. You apologize to a house. <laughs> oh, here we go. They're butting heads. Back in my 
day, we didn't have a bathroom. Stop hitting the door with the battering ram! <laughs> it's been two hours! Oh, no. Uh, I can't take this anymore. Back, just getting used to each other. Back in my Very day, deal. Polly's deal? right. Do you remember the Hendersons? Look what happened to them. Nothing like scavenging the remains of a broken frog family. <laughs> broken frog you family. I still think we should just give them time. I that think we should listen to Polly here. You can't force people to get along. No. Sprig. No. That never goes well. Of course not, Polly. Oh, Jesus. He's doing that thing again. Of course not. Oh, <laughs> Of course not. Get Stop. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's like, okay, I'm done. Stop. I moved on. We've been robbed! Say what? That Hop Pop delivered the perfect sitcom catchphrase. Mm -hmm. Must be painful to make so little sense all the time. <laughs> Just because it doesn't make sense to you doesn't my mean she doesn't make sense. Corn. We've got to catch this thief. And it's nice to see you so passionate about produce, Sprig. Yes. <laughs> Very odd. If the thief still works, it'll steal again. Polly's on to his shit. To catch this monster is a steak out. I like steak. Good idea. Yo. And the only ones who can do right it are... Oh. The attention span of, uh... Oh, look at that. Okay, I hate that I hate that I was watching like the butterfly. Seems like a to me. Polly's a baby, Anne. Just asking, how pop Mm. Very I wonder well. if Polly ever grows up honest, and during and the I'll series. Do not tell me that. Like Don't answer that question. Rhetorical. You stole the cord, did it, you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But Sprig, you can't <laughs> manipulate people like this. I can and I did. Polly and may be a baby, but she thing. has much more maturity and okay. sense right now than Sprig does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was actually kind yes, of impressive. Look at him. And now to watch the flowers of friendship bloom. Ah. Sprig. Scared I away. love how this world looks in the evening. I just love how it's lit. <laughs> it's a stakeout. A feeling you wouldn't like. They're sleeping. Blamberry Blitz. Blamberry Blitz. That bottle's Drink a bit that much. Punches you in the face and doesn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> that silly drink won't keep you up. That thing looks like death. <gasps> What is this? Probably poison? smells like death. Mama's old gourd tea recipe. And taste. I'm not sure it's too strong for you. Mm oh no, here we go. No way it's stronger They're than They're gonna try each other's drinks. Here we go. Give me that. Oh, yeah, that's probably better. Oh. Oh. You should have seen the look on your face. You were dying. These two are <laughs> so alike. It makes sense right? that they're bunny heads. I like this bonding moment. You know, sometimes I wonder if I'll ever get home. I know what it's like to miss something. I wonder when we're going to talk about that damn chest. After the good old days way too much. Yeah. yeah. We're kind of similar that way. You're always going on. Just a couple of softies, ain't we? It's working. I loved all here. of that. Connecting. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. Of course, my situation is way worse than yours. Oh, here we go. Always gotta make it Stop about comparing you. your life to others. Oh, yeah? well, at least my Everyone's head problems together. are their problems Wait, for a reason. What? Oh, yeah? Well, at least my hair isn't rainbow stardust. Every Everyone is valid. What the? That's kind of uh, cool. I, I, li I like how he reminds me of Grandpa oh, Kettle. A Elder oh, Kettle from Cuphead Show. The drinks. And he's a kettle right now. Our body chemistry must be so different that we're having crazy reactions to each other's extreme beverage. Okay, that was the smartest sounding thing I've ever said. <laughs> this is terrible. She did this I'm not gonna lie, I... <laughs> no, no, this can't it's be. the most offensive They're thing he heard. Again. Oh no, what a surprise. Huh? Polly is all of us. <laughs> he no. just chucked it. We'll just have to take matters. If that's right. Oh no. I'm going to steal more corn right Stop. under their noses. I'll... We'll have to do this again tomorrow and the next. He has a a bandit outfit. Day, until they're the bestest friends who were ever friends, and then the family will be saved. <laughs> Sprig's the real villain here. Try and stop me. <laughs> Oh, boy. That was so over the top. Ooh. Well, it sure wasn't mine. Huh? Oh, look at the colors. <gasps> the... 
<laughs> Watch where you're pointing that thing. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, Polly. Get him, Polly. Right. But can they tell it's him? They can't. Oh. A little body horror going on. <laughs> oh, I like that. That was very cool. Hell yeah. Oh, the kettle. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, dude, that, that design is A+. Plus. That fire breath looks so good. Oh, we're going all anime. Yes! Love it! <laughs> well, we know where the money for this episode went. I was gonna say, they're doing nothing. Well, they're broken. <laughs> it must be immune to magic. Quick, grab those power ups. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I was gonna say I was I was literally gonna say they're gonna cut to them just doing hate like just gestures. Oh my god, they're gonna kill Sprig. Oh, that was so close. I've learned my lesson. I promise. Does the corn thief kind of sound like Sprig to you? It. Now that you mention it. Yeah. I hope Sprig learned his, learned his damn lesson. The high wore now, off. Real, but it was so terrifying. Is Polly okay? You and you defended me. Aw. Back home, we call that having a friend's back. Well, back in my day, we called it pulling a stinky Please stop it. A what? But if you don't know stinky, the saying don't mean much. It means so nothing to me. stick with yours. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'm tired. Oh, jeez. Wow, Sprig, I owe you an apology. No, Your it, double plan actually kind no, of worked. It, yeah, Thanks, Polly, but, but with, maybe next time we do it your way. <sighs> it didn't go well, though. It worked, but he almost got killed. No, no. Oh, this is gonna have bad results. All right, Boulder Trod, you ready to roll? Oh, she's so wonderful. Always my queen. <laughs> my queen. Good man, Boulder Trot. Good man. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> that was fantastic. Oh, this show is so funny. I wasn't expecting, uh, you know, coming from like the same, like creative family as Gravity Falls and whatnot. Uh, you know, but the comedy is just really good. It's the 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 timing is everything, and they time their comedy so incredibly well. Uh, there's a lot went on here. Again, you know, it, light light on overall narrative and story, but really just doing a nice job of character development and building the relationships. Uh, I, I'm loving this family dynamic. You know, it again. I'm glad I've been doing these reactions and. The way I've been doing them, like you know, with Gravity Falls, Our House, and Amphibia, they kind of have like they're 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 a circle, right? I feel I feel like, and they all got very similar themes uh, and whatnot. And I just love this the, the show's focus so far through three episodes. You know, really like teaching us and showing us who these people are and how they fit into this world and how they fit in with each other. So this episode was seriously was about. These, these, this episode in general, both parts were just all about bonding. You know, the first part with the with the cook off, you know, Anne and uh, Hop Pop, you know, Anne got incredibly stubborn. Obviously, she acknowledged that, but you know, but she was she was doing it because she cared. She wanted that. She didn't want the family to finish last and not be in the shame cage. I, I just loved how Anne has so quickly just accepted them as as her you know as part of her own and the same with them to her and i love how they can work out their problems you know you know if she just would have listened about going after the dangerous ingredients they could have probably maybe gone about it a better way because that was dangerous they could have been killed in many ways that tomato 
plant monster was incredible, but obviously it almost killed them. And I feel like if from the start, if they kind of were working together and game playing together, that they, that pizza would have happened, you know? But, you know, it's a shame the pizza didn't happen. Uh, and, and, oh, my God, and, and, and pinning Sprig up against the wall and telling him there will be no pineapple on this pizza. <laughs> Bless. Love it. And Sprig being promised to the butcher with it for his daughter and oh my god that little girl was incredibly terrifying and creepy and she was absolutely wonderful i love characters like that i love when these shows delve into a little darkness like that you know her with the little voodoo doll uh <laughs> oh man she was she was something and then in the second part you know i love how much hop pop and Anne are so alike that naturally a lot a lot of times when you're so alike when you're so similar to someone you will butt heads it that will happen it trust me i mean i've experienced it i'm sure many of you have and you know you get to that realization like yeah, i mean these two are only doing this because they're so similar and but both incredibly stubborn and i love the little bonding moment they had talking about you know about her getting home Talking about like doing you know, when they're drinking the drinks and everything, you know that that was a nice little moment there. Then of course, you know Anne had to be like, "Well, it's I'm it's far worse for me," and blah blah blah. Which I I hate when people do that. I do not like when people do that. You're you know, and I'm guilty of being someone who's like I feel like my problems aren't as serious as others. So sometimes I have trouble like speaking up about it. We're telling someone like, hey, I'm going through this, whatever, because I feel like the person either I'm talking to has gone through much worse and I don't want to burden them with mine even because I feel like mine's not serious. But that's not a really good way to go about it. You know, all our issues and problems are valid and, you know, and, and it's important to you. So you should be able to speak about it. So I'm working on that. <laughs> but. But ultimately, Sprig. I love that Sprague learned a lesson there. You can't manipulate people. Manipulation, no, bad. Don't do it. Can't force people to like each other, but that's just in general. Don't do things that put people in a situation they should not be in just because you want to see this happen. Like Polly said, Polly was the most sensible and the most rational person or frog or tadpole, whatever, in this episode. She is the youngest. She's a baby, but she was the most mature and adult by far in the entire episode and that's why she's right now she's like she's my mvp of this series so far <laughs> through three episodes but yeah again light on story this is i could tell this is going to be a very slow start uh probably very much like owl house but again i love the characters so far i love the world building this is a terrifying horrifying world yet i'm having a, a, a i'm having so much fun hanging out in it with with these characters i won't live there but i like hanging out with it but yeah super solid again but yeah folks that's all i got for you today thank you so much for hanging out with me and experiencing my first experience with amphibia and i'll see you in the next one have yourselves a great day bye